Okay, I want to welcome everyone to this. Um, I don't know if you call it a tutorial, but the the Facebook layout will be changing pretty soon. And many people have already switched over to the new timeline uh, layout of Facebook. If you haven't switched to that uh, timeline layout of Facebook, the differences in what will be happening on Facebook very soon. I kept looking for a date, but I couldn't find a particular date. Maybe someone knows the exact date and they can post it up is that they will be on your personal page on your uh, personal page on Facebook. They will be adding a timeline and this is going to be a mandatory addition to Facebook. So if you joined Facebook um, in 2007, as you can see over here, mine says now January, December, and then it has 2011. And I would I joined Facebook in uh, I joined Facebook in 2008. Now from 2008 up until 2011, all of the information that I ever put on Facebook is going to be in a timeline as you can see over here it says that I joined Facebook it's going to tell you uh, more information about me and as it goes down I'm clicking on 2009 it's going to tell you everything that I posted on my wall in fit on Facebook in 2009 and and every year that I've been on Facebook and whatever I posted up will be available for all viewers to see on Facebook now here is the caution, here is the warning. For some people who maybe in, when they joined Facebook in 2008 or 2007 or earlier than that, perhaps you were just a rah rock type of person and you didn't care, you know, so you posted up pictures of you smoking marijuana or you posted pictures of you with liquor or with women or you posted a picture of you in a bathing suit with your butt out in 2007. And in 2012, now you've changed your ways, you're a little calmer, you don't want people to remember you as that kind of rah-rah person. Well, now, in this timeline, it's going to be stamped on your image forever on Facebook. And this is a mandatory change in Facebook. So if now you're a preacher, but in 2008, you on Facebook with weed in your hand, liquor in your hand, well, people are going to go back and bring that kind of stuff back up. So what you want to do is if you can sign in to the timeline now or you can wait until the change has been effective. I don't know exactly uh, when the change will be effective, but I uh, switched over on last night. Here's the thing. They will give you seven days to scrub through all of your timeline, which is over here to your right. You have seven days to scrub through that timeline and delete anything that you don't think is appropriate for your page. Now I've gone through my page. I, I don't think I had anything else in there with the exception of one year, someone actually um, hacked my account and they did send pornography and you know, those Nike shoes and all that stuff in, in my name on my account. And as I said in one of my lectures on Blog Talk Radio, they, they also have uh, phantom accounts. Uh, you got one account, but there's another account in your name as well. Like mine has Groove 19 Promotions, and my other account doesn't have a picture of me, but it says used to work at Groove 19 Promotions, and people are receiving Facebook hits and texts from, from that particular site as well. But that's not me. That's the shadow account, and I don't I don't know who that is. But anything that comes from Groove 19 Promotions will say Groove 19 Promotions. But the warning is to be sure to scrub your timeline. And the important part is that you only have um, seven days to scrub your timeline and find the information that you don't want anyone to see and delete it. Also, if you would like to delete your Facebook account completely, you have to... Uh, request for the deleting of your account but that doesn't delete your account what that does is put your account on hold now if your uh, Google account is connected with your Facebook account if your Twitter account is connected with your Facebook account like I have almost four or five different accounts connected with my Facebook so that I don't have to keep posting up on each page but if all of these accounts are connected when you opt out of Facebook, if you log into uh, Google with your Facebook password, then your Facebook becomes active again. 
So you can never opt out of Facebook unless you opt out completely, which means you disconnect all of your accounts from Facebook. And if you disconnect all of your accounts and it's inactive for, I believe, 12 days, then you have officially deleted your Facebook account. So my warning is that we have to scrub through, and I hope that I scrubbed through well enough. I don't, I don't think I had anything up there that I didn't want anyone to see. But for those who may have some personal things, and one of the other things I inquired about was the uh, instant messages that we send each other. Will that be posted on the Facebook page? And from what I understand, it won't be. But that doesn't mean it won't uh, change later on. So I've looked for the instant messages. Like I said, there's nothing I think I sent that was personal, you know, that personal. But uh, for all of those who need to look through your scrub through your timeline, my suggestion is to go ahead and start doing that now if you can. And don't wait to the last minute because you may forget. So my, my time started last night and I have six days left and I'm still scrubbing through my timeline. But make sure over here on your right, you look through your timeline. This is for your personal page. And some people, I think about 89 people already that I'm, I'm friends with on Facebook have actually uh, started with the new timeline look. And so, uh, again, this is Groove 19 Promotions. Brother Johnny, if you have any questions, you can hit me up on Facebook or you can hit me up on any of my other personal sites. And this is just a sign of the times. I mean, you join something and Facebook and Google also have another uh, privacy policy that they've put in place. And it's really just taking away a lot of your freedoms. Um, and you can opt out of Facebook, but you're still going to be someplace on the computer. So you're still going to be, you know, uh, uh, monitored. You just never know. As the sister said, you never know who's watching you when you're on the computer. But we hope to stay out with the modern times and hope that uh, that everything goes well. And if there is some ulterior motive to doing all of this, we pray that, you know, that God comes in and, and, and intervenes with it. Because most of us just use Facebook as a social website and to promote business. And um, so I hope that um, and change your passwords often if you can. Uh, and I think that's about it. So uh, if you have any questions, please ask again. I'm sorry about this thing popping up. It wants to change my color scheme. This Vista is something else. XP, XP all the way. So everyone, please uh, look through your timeline and see what you may want to keep, may not want to keep. And let's start deleting that information because I really don't want to know any of your personal business and I don't want you to know any of mine. So this is Brother Johnny. Please don't forget to tune in to Blog Talk Radio this um, Saturday at 3.30. The topic is going to be very powerful. We're going to be talking about the secret world of molestation, how men are taking advantage of young boys and destroying their minds, and how women are doing the same to young girls. We're seeing a, a pro proliferation, I believe that's the right word, of homosexuality. And if that's by choice, that's your business. But if you're forcing someone into it and destroying their minds, then it's our business. And we like to take care of business at Groove 19 Promotions. So please join us this Saturday on Blog Talk Radio. And you can also join us on Justin TV. And if there is a problem on one, you can always listen to the other. And we thank you for that. Let's get inside those timelines and start to scrub through and hide all of our personal and private information if we can. This is a, a social website, so let's be social. Again, I apologize about the splash screen. And I think that's it. So let's get to work.